Hey guys, what's up? It's Catherine. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I curl my hair. I have gotten so many requests for this video. So, sat down today and that is what we are going to be bringing to you. This is a new me curling wand. I love this thing. This is the curling wand that I use. I love it. I've been using just like the barrel curling wands for years. For me, I found that it's the easiest to curl my hair and the quickest. I think usually it takes me about 5-10 minutes to curl all of my hair, so it's a fairly simple process. Alright, so starting out, I will always section my hair into two sections. I don't usually section it into sections from like the bottom to the top of my head. I find that that takes a really long time. I usually just section it two sides and then I'll kind of curl each side and just kind of grab random pieces. So I always start out towards the back of my head. I will just grab a chunk of hair, wrap it around the curling wand. I usually will always start curling away. And then I always leave the ends out of the curling wand. I never curl my ends. I always leave those a little bit straight. And that's what kind of gives you that really nice, like, wavy, beachy look throughout your hair. So everyone's hair is different, but I will usually hold my hair on this particular curling wand for anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds. Then I will let the curl drop into my hand. I will hold it there for a little bit and then kind of toss it towards the back. Then I will take the next piece of hair and repeat this process. I will usually switch the direction of the way that I'm curling my hair probably like every other piece towards the back of my head and that way the curls will won't kind of like clump together when you get your final look it will all be like really nice and kind of separated a little bit and it'll look a little more full so I pretty much repeat this process all the way until I get to the front of my hair like around my face so when I get to that section I will always curl these pieces pretty much the same way but I will always curl them away from my face. That way nothing is kind of like falling forward on your face when you get the finished look. It kind of just all like flows back naturally and just, I don't know, it looks really nice. This is the way that I've always been doing it. I usually will start to take smaller pieces towards the front of my head when I'm curling the pieces. Um, I find that these will just kind of like last a little bit longer if you take smaller pieces. And since it's the front of your face and you're framing your face with these curls, I like to have these ones a little more curly and last a little bit longer. So. Once that is complete and I have curled all of my hair, I will throw all of it into the back and then just kind of run my fingers through it. Obviously, once it's cooled down a little bit, that's when you want to run your fingers through. You want to wait till it cools so it can really set and hold the curl. And then I just run my fingers through it, shake it out a little bit, kind of give it that loose, messy wave look. This is what I like. You don't have to shake it out or brush it out, anything like that. You can just leave it as it is if you like the curls. But after I shake everything out, loosen the curls a little bit, that is the completed look. I typically don't use any hairspray in my hair. I know that can be kind of damaging if you use a ton of it. Again, I really don't use a ton of products or heat on my hair usually, so it stays pretty healthy and pretty nice. But those are pretty much the basics. That is how I curl my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.